NASA is on the lookout for life around Saturn. Here's what you need to know. NASA's Dragonfly mission to the surface of Titan will be its first since 1976 to explicitly incorporate the search for signs of life into its mission goals, according to a new report published by its scientists in the Planetary Science Journal. Launching in 2026 and arriving in 2034, Dragonfly is focused on Titan, the only one of Saturn's moons with a substantial atmosphere and liquid on its surface, because many of the prebiotic chemical compounds that formed on early Earth have also formed in its atmosphere. Previously, the surface of Titan has proven impossible to study in detail because of that thick methane atmosphere, according to phys.org, and thus the Dragonfly mission provides the first opportunity to study it in detail. As it roams the surface of Titan, NASA's Dragonfly Titan rotorcraft relocatable lander will search for chemical biosignatures, investigate the moon's methane cycle, and explore the prebiotic chemistry currently taking place, both in its atmosphere and on its surface. Previously, in 1997, the ESA's Hawkins probe traveled to Saturn aboard NASA's Cassini orbiter before making its way down to Titan's surface in 2005. However, Alex Hayes, one Dragonfly co-investigator, told Fizz.org that that mission was limited because at that time scientists had so little knowledge of what kind of surface Hawkins would be landing on. At the time Cassini was launched, we didn't even know if the surface of Titan was a global liquid ocean of methane and ethane, or a solid surface of water ice and solid organics, he said. According to NASA, Hawkins appears to have landed on a surface resembling sand made of ice grains. Surface images revealed a flat plain covered with pebbles, as well as evidence of liquid acting on the terrain in the recent past. Subsequent data confirmed the existence of liquid hydrocarbon lakes in Titan's polar regions. While Dragonfly will focus on Saturn's Titan, NASA is already planning a separate mission to Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, with similar life-finding aspirations. And the help of Elon Musk. NASA has awarded Elon Musk's SpaceX another contract, this time to help launch its Europa Clipper spacecraft towards Europa, an icy moon that orbits Jupiter and is a leading contender for finding extraterrestrial life inside our solar system. Here's what you need to know. In October of 2024, NASA will use SpaceX's Falcon Heavy rocket to launch its Europa Clipper spacecraft from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It says the contract award amount for launch services is around $178 million. According to Space.com, the announcement marks an end to lengthy delays around the project, which was initially planning to rely on NASA's own space launch system for its launch. The development of that system has been haunted by delays and cost overruns. With its launch window finally confirmed, Europa Clipper is now set to conduct a detailed survey of Europa and investigate whether the icy moon has conditions suitable for life. NASA says its key mission objectives are to produce high-resolution images of Europa's surface, determine its composition, and look for signs of recent or ongoing geological activity. It will also measure the thickness of Europa's icy shell, search for subsurface lakes, and determine the depth and salinity of Europa's ocean. Europa has already been the subject of much previous study, with scientists last year demonstrating that the relentless barrage of radiation Europa receives from Jupiter makes the moon glow in the dark. Much of the most interesting study around Europa, however, revolves around the possibility that it could harbor life. Scientists are particularly interested in the ocean below its icy surface because similar to Enceladus, another icy moon that orbits Saturn, the subsurface ocean appears to be in contact with the moon's rocky core. According to Space.com, this contact makes a range of complex chemical reactions possible, and these reactions could theoretically have led to life. While NASA is always relatively circumspect about such possibilities, one expert last year was notably less so. Speaking at Liverpool Hope University, Professor of Planetary and Space Science Monica Grady said it was almost a racing certainty that there is life beneath the ice on Europa, according to phys.org. Grady went as far as saying that the chances of finding larger life forms on Europa are higher than on Mars. If there is something on Mars, it's likely to be very small, bacteria, she explained. But I think we've got a better chance of having slightly higher forms of life on Europa, perhaps similar to the intelligence of an octopus. According to phys.org, the reason for this optimism is that Europa's 15-mile deep ice could act as a protective barrier against both solar radiation and asteroid impacts, allowing for the possibility of life developing in the water that is likely to be beneath ice. Hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor and sodium chloride in Europa's salty water could also be potentially useful factors. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.